So everyone knows THC, tetrahydrocannabinol. It was the first. Uh, it was first discovered in 1964 in Raphael Meshulam's lab in Israel, and it was about the same time the Beatles were first uh, being exposed to cannabis themselves. And it was the 60s, and so, voila, this is the chemical that's causing all the effects of marijuana, is what people thought. Before that time, we had, people had not been able, scientists had not been able to find this one abundant compound. They couldn't isolate it. They couldn't take, get the chemical structure of it. They'd found other compounds called cannabinoids in cannabis. Uh, but uh, uh, THC the big, the, was the big find, and uh, a 32-year-old scientist discovered it and um, you know, made his, uh, launched an illustrious career. But it turns out that THC is not the only game in town in marijuana and cannabis, and it's not the only extremely useful compound in cannabis. And for that, you have to, to look at CBD. CBD stands for cannabidiol, CBD. It's basically a structural isomer of THC. What that, mean, that means to say is THC and CBD have the same uh, chemical composition, but the atoms are just arranged just a little bit differently. In fact, there's a ring that opens and closes. If that ring is closed, it's THC. If that ring is open, it's CBD. And you can actually, in a, in a, in a flask, convert between one and the other with just a little bit of acid. And, um, you know, it's a, any organic chemist out there will know what I'm talking about. But. So uh, that CBD compound we've actually known about for longer than THC, but it's only in the last few decades that we've begun to appreciate how useful it is, both in helping to modulate the effects of THC and as a, as a unique compound itself. It has anti-seizure properties, uh, it has pain relieving properties, uh, it has anti-cancer properties. Um, it blunts the worst effects of THC itself when it's co-administered. So people talk about a dissociative effect with THC, people talk about an anxiogenic effect. When you put CBD in there, it actually helps to mitigate those effects. And that's been shown in studies um, where they go out in the field and they test what types of marijuana people have, and the ones that have CBD in them, uh, people report improved uh, less less of those negative symptoms I described. And that's also been seen in animal studies and, and, and on and on. And some groups have even called for just adding CBD into cancer chemotherapy regimens. That's And these are cancer uh, research groups. And so, CBD has been also hailed as a treatment to prevent the uh, diabetic neuropathy, which is the leading cause of blindness in the United States. It, it protects nerves. And this is all from a little compound, a set of compounds that, that this cannabis plant uh, naturally produces. Some strains have higher amounts of THC and low amounts of CBD. Some strains have low amounts of THC and high amounts of CBD, and some are in between somewhere. And uh, that's all part of the genetic diversity and chemical diversity of, of cannabis. Thank you.